Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here. Welcome back to Union Cross. We're going to be doing the Hades Cup on my free-to-play account. Yes, I know my free-to-play account has been very really lucky, uh, but I kind of just want to show you guys a full playthrough because I haven't made one of these videos in a long time, and we finally got something that has worthwhile rewards. We got gems, we got skip tickets, and we got jewels out of this. So I'm really excited to make this video. I know you guys probably don't want to see the whole thing, but I really want to record the whole thing. It's just been too long since I've done an event. Uh, hopefully something helps you here. If it doesn't, down below, comment section, talk to the community. The community for this game is really really good i do have a discord full of a lot of people with a lot of knowledge in my discord there's a cook strategy section if you guys need help post your uh your link there like of your setup say this is what i got i'm having trouble in this setup can somebody help me and i'm pretty sure somebody will help you out and again comment section you don't have to go as far as discord if you don't want to just try in the comment section down below so Let's start off with the candy apple level 100. Uh, I'm going to use the fairy stars, even though it's probably not the good idea. Because right now, for this mono keyblades, uh, like the missing ache, you can see they've got multipliers of 7.0, 6 point something. So I'm pretty sure there's a better strategy I can use uh, besides what I'm about to do. But I kind of just want to go in with my fairy stars and see how far I get. Because for now, it shouldn't be too tricky. But with the big boosters going on, it should be okay. Uh, there's also a trick I'm going to show you guys on Hades that's been going around the internet. Which is really awesome. I think it, it started from someone on the JP side. Figured it out. Uh, it's pretty easy, but you have to have the right medals. So I'll show that near the end. For now, we're just going to go through all of this. I might even switch my setup to try one of the new Keyblades. Not new Keyblades, but the Keyblades have the huge boost. And because we're going to get a booster on the 11th, you guys can wait three days for that update. Where they said in the notice saying, hey, we're going to be updating uh, the damage of the weaknesses so you see how these guys are magic they got those blue orbs beside them if you use a green metal which is speed you'll do extra damage to them because of that so starting june 11th so wait three days if you can't beat the hades today just wait for that use one of the speed mono keyblades and hades i'm pretty sure is magic so it should go should go quite well on that but for now we'll see how far we get through this we got the wild shamans it's been so freaking long. You don't understand how happy I am to do one of these Hades Cup. We used to get a Hades Cup. I think at one point we had a Pegasus Cup as well. It wasn't really a Pegasus Cup. I wouldn't say that. I think it was just another Hades Cup, but it was different. You could only use like tier 3 medals or somewhere around there, tier 3 or lower. And it was very challenging because you had to have an inventory of older medals where everyone just really worked on their bigger medals. No one really traded their little guys. No one really put skills in the little guys. And it wasn't needed. You didn't have to put attack boost maxes on the little ones. But it just threw a little twist in there. And it made it more interesting besides having your powerhouse of a Keyblade and hoping you had enough damage. So I want to see more stuff like that in the future. Hopefully down the line we get Hades Cups that are not just about very powerful enemies. But more about unique strategies you got to come up with. You know what I mean? Now I don't want to be like only use speed medals. Only use power medals. Just something different. Something different. That's all I'm asking for. I know, it sounds like too much. <laughs> so these first couple of rounds is freebies. I think we get like a thousand jewels before the 15th quest. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's the 10th quest that gives us a thousand jewels. Between there we get gems, magic mirrors, skip tickets. I forgot to uh, I forgot to talk about that. Oh, I also forgot to change the banner down there. I forgot to talk about uh the skip tickets in the Hades Cup. I was like, oh yeah, we get 100 for the Twitter campaign. And then we get 28 for the quest coming up. I totally forgot about this. And there you go. I switched it to Hades Cup down below. So we're getting more than just 128 skip tickets. Which hopefully, guys, when you do your polls, I hope you guys get a, good, a lot of good luck out of that. I've been on a very bad polling streak lately. Starting from Angelic Amber, where I spent 55,000 plus jewels chasing her and I didn't get her. And then I went for something else. I haven't released that poll video yet, and I spent a lot of jewels there. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it's been pretty bad on Union Cross. And then I've been playing Opramia. I stream Opramia on Twitch, and I do every update. And Sephiroth just came off in Opramia, and I had the Mercy Pull Sephiroth, which was 75,000 gems. It's a lot. Trust me. It's 15 pulls for Sephiroth. And then... Lulu and Jek came out, or Jek's EX is a really good weapon, that just came out last night, and I did the pulls on there, <laughs> and I had the Mercy Jek as well, so another 75k gems, and it takes a long time to save up 75k gems, so I spent 150k in less than a week, I did save it up, 
Uh, again, I treat Opera Amid like I treat any other gacha game. I go what I need the most. I save up a lot. If I miss a couple quests here and there, it's not a big deal. The gems or jewels in this game are the biggest resource you have. So manage it in a proper way. Don't worry about completing every single quest. Once you start saving, you can start doing all the events from that point on. You're going to hit that barrier and then you're going to bust through it once you pull for the right stuff. So I had like 280,000 gems saved on Opera Amia. And I had to spend 150,000 uh, this week. So it's not a big deal. I'm still above 100. I can still mercy pull another character. And the only character I want is Zach coming out. So uh, that's all right. But it's literally been since Angelic Amber from this game to the new Kyrie to the Opera Amia pulls. I haven't had any good luck ever since Angelic Amber. It's been crazy. Uh, I don't know if there was anything else besides Angelic Amber before that. No, that was straight up the biggest bad luck I've had. And we've actually been talking about it on stream. Uh, that I should go play Kingdom Hearts 3 and go to the Toy Story level and beat up Angelic Amber. If I could do that, maybe my curse will be lifted and I'll get my good luck back. But I haven't had good luck for a long time. Well, fingers crossing. There's a thousand jewels on the 10th quest. Uh, all these jewels will turn out good. I am going to do VIP on my uh, main account because Jump Jump from stream, uh, he actually donated the VIP to me. So I'm going to be doing a, uh, the VIP, getting Aqua, going for the five traits or 10 traits, depending how much at the pull, and uh, finishing off some other pull. <laughs> and hopefully getting super lucky out of it because I you know I done the goofed. I done the goofed. Wow, this Hades Cup. I'm very surprised this Hades Cup. We're on round 11 and it's not really kicking in. I know it usually kicks in the last couple of quests, but I remember like it was really hard to get to the 10th quest back then. It seems like they haven't thrown in that giant power creep or maybe they're just not planning to take away our power with how many powerful metals are there. Because we have TF Sora, uh, we've got the new Kyrie, the new Aqua. You probably only need like two metals to beat this now. Yeah, look at this. These guys only have 241,000 HP. Oh no, oh no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So when the book dies, he gets pretty much buffed or he removes his debuffs. So you had to redo it. I'm going to do this and I'm going to activate this Kyrie. So that's going to do like 137. You guys might not have as strong as a setup, but make sure when that book dies, either you have multiple turns to beat it or you can just use your supernovas to bring back the buffs and debuffs. I just need a little bit more HP. So I just went for the supernova overwrite, but that one got a little bit more tricky. I guess if you don't have a full setup, a little bit more tricky. But like I said, Mono Keyblades are stronger than my Fairy Stars right now. So you guys are probably doing a better job than I am. Because look, a 4.0, that's not even Attacker. 5.7, 5.8. I can do a lot better on another Keyblade. But let's keep going. I heard this is not that challenging. So I'm, I'm kind of excited just to go through this. We got two Sleepers. That's all right. Our Metals do ignore or raise enemies' counters. So we can go through this pretty quickly. Oh no. Oh no. I was just talking shit. What happened? What's up with the Chill Reaper? Oh, he started off with buffs. Okay, okay, I see it. That's fine. That's fine. We'll get him we'll get him this round. Okay, so he raised his buff. Let's go with Supernova to take over that. We're gonna activate the Kyrie over here to get that 280%. Plus, if you guys look at the top left, you see right over here on the top left where my HP is? Right over here. Right where my finger is pointing. You see how it says plus 5,000? Every metal in my uh, setup now is going to have plus 5,000. And because we used overwrite, we got rid of his buffs that he added. Now we're going to fully debuff him. And now we can go in for the, the kill. So this should be fine from this point on. If I have to activate supernovas, I'll activate them. But I think this will be clean. Yeah, no supernovas needed. My metals are pretty strong. I do have that Roxas, which makes a big difference. My friend metal is very powerful. And I do have that Sephiroth. Not on his full potential because he needs to be on the fifth slot, but he does have extra attack 120 on him, so it's a pretty big difference. All right, so that's round 13. Two more to go. I heard Hayes is a little bit challenging, but I want to try out this little trick people have been using to see if I can beat him. Uh, should we stick to this one? Yeah. The Jewel Princess. I know she has something unique to her. So let's see. What are you guys starting off? You're starting off with buffs, and you got a healer. So you want to kill the healer right away. Just so the heals don't come through. It just takes a lot longer to deal with. It's not necessary, but it's there if you need it. I would say let's just take it down as soon as possible. Best to bring in the AoE medals. Like I've tried setups where you bring single target and you go in for the kill for one so it doesn't heal the other one. But stuff like that's not needed. Gets at 439,000. HP's left. 330,000. 
129. So I do want to get rid of it right now. So we're going to pop Aqua. Leave it at 61,000. It doesn't matter if I use one now or later. Let's activate Lightning. That should kill the healer. And then we just got to deal with the Sorcerer by itself. And I think... Oh, shit. I could have killed it this turn. I'm over here trying to make a strategy when the HP is dropping like no tomorrow. But yeah. Get rid of the healer. Less healthy you have to deal with. Pretty straightforward. But there you go. Uh, using a friend, uh, Kyrie is pretty good because that 5,000 strength makes a big difference. Especially if your metals seem like they're not doing a lot of damage or they're doing once. You gotta raise your metals general strength or your keyblade slots to get a lot higher. So, that makes a big difference. Having a, a friend, Kyrie can just change everything for you. So, round 15 is Hades. This is where the 5,000 jewels are hiding. Hades Cup, huh? He's only level 4,000? No way! I can't believe this is only a level 4,000. They're really letting a lot of people beat this. Well, I'm talking, I'm probably talking too much right now. Let's go in and let's see if we can do this setup. Let's see if we starts off with. So Hades, again, I have a little trick we can do this as well that's been around the internet. I didn't come up with it. So if you guys know the original source, let me know down below. He starts off with all his buffs. If I did have a copy metal to copy my Kyrie to get rid of all those buffs, I probably would. The reason I have the second Kyrie in there is because she has a better second chance, where the original Kyrie has just a second chance one. And why am I not fusing them? Because I like my medals, okay? So, if anything, you can bring in your Kyrie or your Shion and use an extra attack copy metal to copy her for three times the buffs, and then you don't have to rely on this. But turn one, I'm gonna get rid of that uh, full buff he's got going on. Activate my Kyrie because I know we're going for a full debuff run over here. Kyrie goes off, this one goes off. Everything should be negative 15 except for upright. And uh, that's about it, right? Yeah, upright's the only thing I don't have fully uh, down, but Aqua's got her own upright debuff, so that's fine. Okay, he doesn't have that too bad of much of HP. I know it all depends on your metals and your Keyblade, but again, there is stronger Keyblades than what I'm using right now. Can we just one-turn you? Is that a thing? It's not a thing, is it? No, there's no way. I'm gonna save that Roxas. Oh, shit! Oh, no, I forgot! Does he have a threshold? He actually has a threshold, but we tanked it. So that's not too bad. Let's activate this Roxas real quick here. And to finish him off in two turns. Okay, so that worked out beautifully. It's just that first turn you want to get rid of all those uh, buffs on him. Or you get screwed over near the end. Okay, so we two-turned him. What was the requirements? Just beat it? Was that a threshold? I guess that was a threshold. Yeah, complete without having to continue. So, you could probably tank a couple of those hits to make extra turns, so you have more than three turns. So, your first turn, second chance, and HP recovery, plus a, probably you can tank one of the moves. I don't want to do a tank setup, because they usually just take too much, and people don't have the resources for it. But just try to raise all your buffs up to max. If you have Demix, still works out beautifully. There's a bunch of them. But let's talk about that strategy that's been going around. It's the same one that's going for the Coliseum. Use Anti-Aqua to reflect back. Uh, there's two of them. You could bring in a friend Sora, Pirate Sora, or use your own Pirate Sora to debuff you. Or you can just bring in a Nomine to copy the debuffs that are happening on you. So just go on the special. You'll find Nomine herself somewhere around here. You're looking for the old Nomine, this one. So just stick this Nomine. Somewhere it's not going to do damage, it's going to do damage regardless. After your Anti-Aqua and after your Kyrie and Shion, or whichever one, whichever one you're doing. Because what's going to happen here is that you're going to debuff. And this works for Coliseum as well, for magic enemies, if you're stuck somewhere. Uh, the Pirate Sword is there as well, I'm going to show you guys. But for the first kind of setup, right now, I'm going to activate my Kyrie, just in case that you guys don't have triple cast Kyrie or ways to copy it. Let me put this up to times three. So we're going to do that, then we're going to go for the debuff, making sure that he has that times 15 down for uh, magic, power, speed, defense, all that. Then we're going to go in with Anti-Aqua, she reflex magic, Haiti is magic, so we're going to get our own damage, but we want to make our debuffs go down, so we're going to copy his debuffs onto us. Now we have reverse down, upright down, defense down, all PSM down. I'm not going to use uh, Sora here because that's a second example, but... So he hit us for a bunch, and he just got hit for 16 million, billion, so he's down to 527,000 bars of HP. Now I'm going to go into the setup where we actually use uh, the Sora instead. So here goes Aqua. You don't need both. You don't need Nominate and Sora. It's one or the other. So I'm going to skip Nominate here. Let me lower this to times one. I'm going to skip Nominate here. I'm going to activate this Sora because if you look at my buffs right now going through, Right in the middle there on top of Hades. You can see I have no debuffs. But when I activate Sora, I lose my, my defenses. 
So I'm gonna go to negative 15 general. You see there, power, speed, magic, upright. He hits us for 16 billion, and then he gets hit for 16 billion, and we win. So you guys can use a friend Pirate Sora, or you can use Nominee to copy the debuffs you put on Hades. Anti Aqua is the key here. She reflects that magic 100% right through. Boom, Hades two turns, no problem. So, there you go guys, that is the Hades Cup, that's the two strategies you gotta use on that. Now I'm gonna see if my main account can do this, cause my main account's not as strong as my free to play account. Uh, so, well for now anyways, we'll see what happens, my luck might turn around. But, that's pretty sweet to me, that's a lot of jewels going on, I'm at 37,000 jewels right now, 480. There's gonna be more jewels later, so I'm just gonna keep saving, since my account is passing all the content, there's no reason for me to pull. Especially cause the polls are not free to play friendly. The Kyrie can't get it. VIP is Aqua. Everything else is medals I already have and don't need. So I'm just going to keep racking up these jewels until it goes up to a point where I need to pull. But as long as I can pass the content, my jewel count will keep going higher. Um, if you guys got any different strategies for the last couple rounds, because those ones were a little bit more tricky. You had the Hades guy there. Not Hades, but the Reaper. You had the Princess. You had the Chill uh, Blizzard guy. So there's a bunch of different strategies that is needed for this. So if you guys want to leave anything down below, how you beat this one, tricks you guys use, help with the community, build it up, spread it everywhere, not just my comment section, other people's comment sections, other people's discords, all that good stuff. But again, if you need help, I do have the comment section down below and a discord that you guys can get plenty of help from everyone that plays this game. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling and I'll see you in the next one.